All right guys, today Man Camera Tools, we are gonna unbox the brand new Made in the USA with Global Materials lawnmower. Now I wanted this lawnmower as soon as I saw it in the store, and I seriously think this is a powerful Mamma Jamma, much more powerful than my previous model, and I did a lot of videos on that as well. Now this is not mine, I did not buy this, this is actually my neighbor's. And he actually was kind enough to let me unbox this film it and test this out. And I'm also gonna do a little versus video between my previous model and seeing how they actually are different. I'm excited about this, so let's unbox it and get to it. Look at that, that is a beaut. Look at that. Just gotta bite the bullet and just do it. And the reason why it's heavy is because this appears to have the batteries and charger in it as well. This is able to mulch. It does have a mulching attachment. So luckily, because I have a fast charger too, so we can charge up both batteries very quickly. And we are gonna time it on how long these six amp hour batteries take to charge. The mulching attachment, I wish my mower mulched. But it doesn't. This this is awesome. I love this lawnmower. I wish I had it. And that goes in like that. And there we go. That goes on like that. And that is done. There we go. It's very easy. There's a level lever right here. You just pull up. I like that. That's nice. That's seriously nice. Take this out. Yeah, both. That's why it was heavy. These batteries are big and heavy. So the model for the batteries are 0P40602VNM. So you get two six amp hour batteries with it. And so like I said, I ha already have one here. So let's uh, plug this in so we can charge both at once. They both have two bars. So let's uh, keep a, we are gonna mark the time. It is 1210. 12.11 right now. Let's see how long it takes for those to charge. But this seriously is a nice lawnmower. This really is. Like I said, it is made in the USA with global materials, which that's a good start, you guys. There we go. And this actually has a key right here. All right, so this has a key. As you can see, it has an, an arrow on it. So this, will, this won't allow you to use the Use it unless this is in there, and it's a double feature. It uses either battery. So instead of swapping batteries, all you gotta do is take this out, reverse it, then it'll use the next battery. So that's actually an awesome feature to have. Uh, I wish this was mine, but it's not. It is all wheel drive. I'm actually curious on to test that out. 21 inches, self-propelled. Yeah, it's, it's a nice lawnmower, you guys. All right, so we have a 21 inch 40 volt cordless all wheel drive lawnmower kit. This is a brushless HP motor. 
up to 70 minutes of runtime, ideal for three quarter or acres or less. It is a part of the Innova Innovation Whisperer series. Our quality range of products, or sorry, our quietest range of products. Smart Trek adaptive variable speed with all wheel drive. Onboard fuel gauge. Oh, I did not know that. I gotta, oh, uh, I gotta find that out. Uh, one touch folding handles, which I love, I showed you guys. Integrated mulch, uh, mulch plug, which that is the, that's the bar that, sweet, that swings left to right, which is awesome. So you can always keep your bag on your mower. Uh, single point height adjustment, awesome. 11 inch uh, high wheel design. It is a cross cut, so it, it, it cuts better, smart track, self propelled. And so yeah, the, the specs of this really quick, their charger is 120 volts at 60 hertz at 295 watts. This weighs a ma max 77 pounds, cutting height one to four inches, a mulch bag and side discharge. 21 inch, you know, it's awesome. The model for this is RY401021. It is seriously an awesome lawnmower. All right, so if you do a side-by-side -side comparison, yeah, the new Ryobi all-wheel drive 40 volt HP Whisperer lawnmower, is this thing is a beast, it really is. It's very easy to operate, it's the same thing. You push the button up here, pull back. It's seriously awesome. So Ryobi, if you seriously want to send me one of these, I'll be more than happy to accept it. This lawnmower is, is awesome. This one does the trick big time. This takes care of my lawn, even nine inch grass, you know, it, uh, with four amp hour batteries. It takes like about two full batteries to do my front, side and backyards. And it seriously is, this is amazing, but this one, Dude, this one's just a beast, it is. It has a nice mulcher, it's easier, it's easy to put in. The six amp hour batteries are charging right now, so I have the two older, uh, the two four amp hour batteries that I use on this, and, it, and you can see here, by putting this in here, this doesn't even close all the way because the, this bat, uh, the new four amp hour batteries are too big for this, so this doesn't close. And if you put a four amp hour battery in here, there is plenty of space plenty of space easily fit something bigger than a six amp hour battery in here so yeah so as you can see plenty of space in there with two four amp hour batteries big you can fit bigger than six amp hour in here there is a mulch and uh uh baggage and mulch feature you just pull up i have the bag on so there you go now when it comes to, like I said, this is for the handle. You just pull this up to be able to do that. I love that feature. Clicks into place. There is a speed selector right here for minimum to max. And this is, I'm assuming, the drive for it. You gotta start it, pull back, and that's done. It's the same thing with this. You pull back, or this one you push, then you pull that back, the gray bar back. This thing is awesome. That is awesome. When it comes to the wheels to the power, you could either have all wheel drive on or off. There's a switch right here. R rear wheel drive would actually majorly just save your battery from draining. And so that's a good feature to have and it's very simple and easy to access right there. And so yeah, let's see what this uh, is like just using the rear wheels. Use this with just the wheels, pull this down and push forward, then you're good to go.
right, let's do all wheel drive. Let's see if there's a speed difference. I'm going to time that. I'm not sure if there's a speed difference or not between all wheel drive and rear wheel drive, but it, there it is if, it, if there is. But yeah, this thing is nice though, but this thing is seriously nice. So remember Ryobi, if you sort of want more videos on this, let me know. I'll be more than happy to, to do that. This thing rocks. It does. Let's try this on an angle. Let's see how this does. And let's actually put this to number two. I'll show you how to do that in a second. No problem. It drove itself up. Oh, that is nice, dude. Oh, that is nice. I am so jealous of my neighbor. That is the easiest time that I had mowing this because the one that I have, because it's not uh, power, the wheels are not powered, it tends to slide down. This actually keeps itself in track. That's a little, that's a little crazy. This thing's awesome. I seriously want this so bad. A six amp hour battery with about a bar and a half took about an hour and 20 minutes to charge. That's not bad for a six amp hour battery. I'm pretty sure one of these will take care of my yard. I'm pretty sure of that. But we'll find out in the future. See that goes there with plenty of space in between. This one goes there and one more time. This, I think this is cool because you take this out, see the, the arrow on it you point it towards the battery you want it to use. So if this battery drains, you take this out and to swap it like that, then it'll use this battery. That is much better than doing this. Like it, like that's how it used to be. Oh, let's flip this over really quick. Very easy. You can see there's a double blade. There's one here and one there. There are the there's the motors for the all-wheel drive for front and rear. So those look like they're actually easy to swap out in case if those start wearing their, showing their wear and tear in the future. And so, yeah, like this looks very easy to maintain. But let's turn this on, let's see what that looks like. If the lawnmower would even let this turn on because it's on its side. I'll actually be impressed if this does not uh, turn on because of safety features. Yep, because it's on its side, it's not letting it turn itself on. Let's see if it'll go on now. That is correct. So it does have a safety feature to where it will not turn on if it's on its side. So the, the mulch is easy, it's right here. You just put it in right there. You'll, once you get this in front of you, you'll see where it is. It does have two lights in the front. No, this thing, this is a bad mamma jamma though. Unfortunately, I can't test this anymore because I do want to give this back to my neighbor. I am grateful for letting him eat, letting me even borrow it. So yeah, it's, it's awesome. 
I thank my neighbor so much for letting me unbox this and test this out. I do want to get this myself if Ryobi sends me one or I'll just buy it myself. But this is seriously a nice lawnmower. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.